Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today we are playing around with this thing. What this thing basically is, is a uh, pet treat launching gun turret with a camera attached. It's a dog camera, a D605 dog camera, but we're actually playing around with this with our one-eyed rescue cat. So let's see it in action. Now I do have a link down in the description if you want to check this thing out for yourself. Now this is the actual device. It's got this little cannon here. It loads treats into this hopper and it's got a little plunger that launches it out. In the app, you can actually select how far or how hard you launch the thing. It's got a little speaker here and that gives you the ability to actually talk through it to your cat or dog. And then up here, you've got the camera itself and it's surrounded, you can't see it right now, with infrared LEDs. That allows this thing to see at night so it can actually track what your pet's doing in the dark. Up here on the top is where the treats load and I've already loosened this up for the video, but this fits in there real snug so your pet can't pry it open. And then you load your treats down in there. It's got these little blades that help push it down into the uh, little cannon itself and then out they come. So to activate the launcher, you put your thumb on the little cat treat, pull it back just like a slingshot and let it go. It loads the cat treat down in there and fires them right out. Also from within the app, you can actually pan the camera back and forth to keep an eye on your pet or take a look around the room. And you can go into all these settings and change a bunch of other stuff around. So now let's dive into these and I'll show you what all these do. So the entire thing is controlled through your phone. In a little bit, I'll show you the actual setup, but so the entire app is controlled here through your phone. Now in a little bit, I'll show you the entire setup, but right now, let me go into the camera settings and show you what this thing can do. Now there's all the normal settings like the uh, camera on and off, the LED on and off, night vision and things like that. But this is where it gets interesting. You get down to motion detection and you open it up and you can set it up for different kinds of motion detection. You can set up an activity zone. You can see right now it's just me, but um, you can set up your activity zones if you want to monitor certain areas. You can also select whether you want it to detect dog, person, or all motions. I have it set to dog, and it seems to be working just fine detecting a cat, four legs or four legs. And if you click motion tracking, the thing will actually pan around the room and follow your pet around the room and get good video of it. Sound detection is kind of neat. If your dog starts barking at the front door, this thing will pick that up and actually alert you that the dog is barking. So it's kind of almost a security system. It'd be really neat if Yuffie actually tied this into their security system somehow. Um, you can also change the tossing sound command. I, right now I have it the squeaky toy, but there's a bunch of different options here that you can choose. And you can also set up your own and you can also set up commands. It's your voice coming out the other end. Video quality settings. Right now I have this thing at 1080. Um, you can also go to lower video quality settings. What is nice with this is right now, all the video is stored on board here. So even though it's footage inside your house, it's being stored on board the device and not somewhere out in the cloud. Um, you can turn on and off notifications. Right now I have them turned off because every time I got walked by the camera, I was getting a ding. So I turned those off. And um, you can also set up camera schedules and let it know when you do and don't want it to run. Now setup should be pretty simple. We're gonna do it in real time. So let's get into the box. So here's the get in box, the D605, little instruction manual and a power adapter. Now all the Eufy stuff hooks up through your phone and it all uses the same app. So if you're using other Eufy apps, this will use the same password and login information. It's just a different app, it's Eufy Pet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the little plus symbol and we're gonna scan the little QR code on the bottom of the device. Now we're gonna plug the thing in and proceed with the setup. Once that light turns a solid blue color, we'll hit next in the app. All right, so the light has turned blue. We're gonna hit next in the app. Press the button on top until you hear a beep. We're gonna hold in the sync button, which is located underneath this guy right here, until we hear a beep. Select we heard a beep. Allow Bluetooth. We're gonna select our home network. Bonus points for anybody who can tell me where I got that uh, network name from. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Setup was successful. All right, so it's added. Now we're gonna change the name of it from dog camera to cat camera. 
because we're actually going to be using this thing with a kitty, not with a dog. Right, the kitty's already looking suspicious at this thing. So she's getting used to the idea. She's going to actually... Daisy! Daisy! I have... No, she knows I have treats in my hand. So we've put it where we normally have her treat bowl. It's right up here. Let's grab her phone and launch some treats, see if she figures it out. Officially the most ridiculous thing I think we've had on the channel. It's a, it's a gun turret for cats. Now this is one of the things I really like about this thing and I think most other pet owners can relate here. We go on vacation, I'm sitting here in my trailer, we haul this thing out of the Mojave Desert, we're out there for days on end and I miss my cat and I wanna make sure she's okay. And uh, cat owners, dog owners, pet owners, I think we're all kind of in the same boat there. So now I can hop on my phone as long as I'm somewhere where I have internet access to my phone. I can hop on my phone, pop open the app and actually talk through the app, Daisy girl. And I can see her coming down the hallway right here and I can actually sit here and go and fling a treat at her. And she heard my voice. She got a treat. She knows I'm thinking about her. I, she's a cat. I, I don't think she cares, but she knows I'm thinking about her and uh, she got herself a treat in the mix. So it's great. And another cool thing on here is if you're interested in what your cat did all day while you were gone, it actually puts together these daily videos you can download. Check out one of them here. So I want to give you the pros and cons of this thing. I really like it. It works seamlessly. Setup was really well. I didn't have any jams with the cat treats. I was a little concerned about that because it's made for dog treats and it actually has in the instructions how big the treats for, should be and I'm loading smaller ones, but I haven't had any jams. It's launching them just fine for my cat. So that's all been great. Everything else has been great. And even though it's meant for dogs per the packaging, when you set up tracking, I think it's just looking for a four-legged critter. So it tracks my cat just fine fine. So it works great. It works great for a cat owner. So I'm sure it's going to work great for a dog owner. It's built really robust and it's pretty heavy. So I think if you had a dog and the dog messed around with it, it's built like a brick. So I, I don't see it getting broken very easily. That's also great. Um, the couple things I would change on it if I could, would be, I'd like it all to be under one app instead of three different apps. I have the Eufy security app, Eufy home app, and now the Eufy pet app. It'd be nice if they were all together. And it'd be nice if they all kind of worked together. This is basically a security camera with a gun turret mounted to it. And you could incorporate this into your security system if they all work together. And it's something, since it's all one ecosystem with Eufy, they, they could probably do that. So I wish they did that. And I also, as a cat owner, I, I wish there was the ability to change it to cat settings. And it works fine with cats, but like on the title of the video, it's dog. Uh, the thing is called a dog launcher. They could have it so you could switch what kind of pet you have very easily in the software and market it to two people. And hey, probably sell a lot more of these because right now I don't think cat owners are looking at it. But I hope this video helped you out. I do have a link for this thing down below. If it's something that you want to check out, um, you can check it out down below. If you have any questions, throw them down in the uh, comments below. If you want to see any other videos or any other stuff you'd like me to build, do, tweak with whatever, leave me a comment, let me know. Give this video a great big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.